Jeez, these explore life chairs, they pack away so easily. These are the one camp chair for me. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my Shed Life shirt? I need that rag. Okay, it's a bit deeper than I thought. Oh my god, I got some water! Let's go! Welcome back, guys. Budget Builds Season 2, brought to you by Outback Equipment. This time, we're taking the budget builds on the ultimate test. Uh, to the tip of Australia, and guess what? We made it! Woo! But I tell you what guys, not all the cars are here. <laughs> so we're going to take you back to the very beginning on the Kreb track where it all started, where we had four cars. If you want to find out who made it to the tip, who didn't, and all the dramas along the way, tune in because for the next four nights we've got content after content after content, one episode on everyone's channel. But let's kick it off. The Kreb track, ready? Let's go! straight into a water crossing and then basically it's all off road from here on in so time to air down we got the interflate we're going to drop all the tires down uh nice and low for this one because it is going to be nice and greasy we're going to want as much traction as we possibly can so let's bag out the bx A new one, Grace. I was hoping that'd be louder, eh? <laughs> First water crossing, I was hoping to get a, a water bra. Left it too late, couldn't find one in can. So we're gonna just put a little bit of grease just around the seal, the dizzy, hopefully to just disperse some of that water, stop it sneaking in. Let us know in the comments. I'm sure a few people will roast me, but um yeah, <laughs> see how we go. <laughs> Ali, where's my shed life shirt? I need that rag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first water crossing of the trip. We're at the crab track. Uh, it's kind of deep, it's kind of long. We're in the Jeep, we're first up. Let's see how we go. How did we get stitched up with going? I don't know. Mac hasn't even done a water crossing before, so he's. Not one this big, no. The anxiety levels are up. It's If it's flooded floor, is that right? No. Oh. <laughs> a little bit nervous, I'm not going to lie. Um, this is a pretty deep crossing. It's going to be a good indication for the rest of the trip with how the petrol is going to perform. Fingers crossed, we get across without any dramas. Follow the Jeep. Might even sit in his bow way, though. Not a period, I'm a comma. Just the scenery guys, like full canopy over the top, looks absolutely unreal on the frothing that we did this track. Yeah, this is like 
driving in a jungle. Green, I've never been up here and it's hectic so far already. I'm pretty scared, I didn't want to do it, but you guys just peer pressured me. It was such a last minute decision. <laughs> yeah, Sam fully didn't want to do this track for uh, everyone at home, but um, we're into it and we haven't even got to the hard bit. So we've got about an hour to push today, guys, uh, to find camp, hopefully before the sun goes down. And then tomorrow, it's really going to turn it on. So see you at the first hill. And they were saying uh, rain makes this track pretty messed up. We haven't had any rain and it's still extremely slippery. Well, we've just stopped uh, at this absolutely stunning little creek. Quick little beer for the afternoon. Cheers, Larry mate. Todd. That was beautiful. We're going to make Sam walk it. What a track so far. Where does it go? This is so good, eh? If you've never done the crab, let me tell you. Get your ass up here. <laughs> Sam, why don't you walk the whole thing? <laughs> well, because there's a track out. There's a track in, there's a track out. Follow the car in front, go. Sam goes right until it starts getting deep, and he's like, righto, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> that's the deepest point. Why would I go to the shallow bit on the other side? It doesn't make sense to me. a nice little time to introduce what exactly the challenge is for this one so we're not going to do individual little challenges but there is penalties so it's very similar to golf so most amount of points loses right if you need to self recover with max tracks one point two points for a winch three, three points if someone has to help you four points if you take a chicken track. Yeah, go around the opposite. Let's just jump it up. Six, six points. Yeah, so basically, double, you have to do point. it. All right. Six and points if you go around. Yeah. We've come to our first little hard little uh, hill there. Yeah, the camera Let's car's see not doing well. Who loses so. some points? <laughs> I'm denied whether anyone was allowed a locker. We thought not everyone should get one because it'll make it too easy. And uh, oh my goodness, that I wish we all got them. <laughs> two for two so far without a winch. Uh, the camera car had to winch. So now it's us. We can, we're not going to run up, are we? No, but I think that's cheating. Go. Alright, go ahead, just get out. <laughs> Mate, the bonus line. Who's got that? So good! That was so good! You know what? I'm just gonna go here, right foot, off we go. See where we end up.
car. <laughs> oh, that was so oh, Don't let the turbo cool. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it's early in the series. Just to let you know, an episode a night is going to be released. So don't miss out every single night for the next three nights. After tonight, there's an episode dropping. Let us know in the comments right now, who do you think's going to win? I'm going to get you guys to pick it early. Who's going to be the winner? Who's going to be the order, uh, the loser? Put the order in the comments. Who's your, what's your bet, Ali? What's going on? Sam last. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. I love that. Uh, I reckon the girls have got it, eh? They're girls? Not, yeah, they're for sure. Bloody their girls car, sticking their together. Their is pretty, pretty sick. Can't underestimate the delete after the last one. We're going to yeah, put the disco true. at number one. Oh, Sam at number two. Big upset, the Jeep at number three. Oh, what? Are you kidding? And uh, I think the girls are going to struggle a little nah, bit. Nah, I'm, I'll help. <laughs> and I'll help you too, obviously. Let us know in the comments. What's your trick? What do you reckon? What's the order? No, we wound it. We wound it too tight, and then on the drive it gets. Why not? On. This guy just wants medals for everything. Like we got a gold medal, guys. Yeah, we got a, like a gold wicket. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. So this trip, due to the lack of space, we thought, what can we get? So uh, I was down at the Melbourne Four x Four show when I first come across these. I think they've just been released. The brand new Dometic. Pico swags. None of us have set these up. In, in that bag comes it's your own pump. It's inflatable. Yeah, it's inflatable. Oh, we've never set one of these up, so I'm actually frothing. I feel this like I'm going kite surfing with me a little pump. Yeah. What is that? Wait, that's oh, pretty. Sh that's pretty erect, eh? <laughs> Oi, I don't. I was just like pump, and then just went pop. I was like, all oh, right, eh? That's done. Got my budget build hammer. Woo! Wait, can I get in there with you, Matty? Yeah. It's good to see. Back to basics. Have a look at this. TJ is cooking on the little table. He's grubs Wait, on the floor. Don't kick dirt on your food, mate. Don't like. walk fast with thongs on. <laughs> you flick dirt up, TJ will bash you. The boys are going flash. Ew. Hey, the Dometic on a slide. I bought this thing years come ago. On, come over. Still going strong. You know what? Berkey's great, but come here, the Heather. Keep your thongs <laughs> off me food, mate. Sorry, mate. I'll tell you what, doesn't get any better than getting back to basics and just, uh... Oh, no. Nah, this is way more fun than cooking on the Land Cruiser with induction and carrying no, on by the full stop. I was gonna say, Macca's drive-thru is pretty damn good. Oh, bloody alley and a Macca's drive-thru. Anyway, guys, we're gonna have a feed. We might have one more beer around the fire. And uh, we've been up early this morning, since 3.30. So, um, yeah, we'll see you guys in the morning. Cheers, big ears. Good morning, TJ. Oh, this is living. <laughs> so we're on the uh, on the road. we're on the coffees this morning. The old Billy, a little bit of Nest Cafe. That's how you do it, budget. Style. That's how you do it on a budget. <clears throat> no, that coffee machine. You'd have to be an absolute wanker to have a coffee machine <laughs> in your car. I tell you, damn, that's good. So a quick little pack up this morning, and uh, we're out of here. There was a little bit of rain last night, yeah, but okay. not too much. It doesn't look like it was too heavy. Um, only a little bit of rain on the swag, so. It's going to be just greasy enough to uh, hopefully be a bit of fun, but not get us stuck here for the next three days. Fingers crossed. Let's see how we go. <laughs> I wasn't using an aircon. I promise. What's that? No, I wasn't. <laughs> no, I had that on all night. The go block will need a solid charge today, but it worked well. It's about a third left. So we do our budget build merch. Now look, it's bloody hot up here. We didn't get tanks done in time. So a little bit of uh, alteration going on here. 
Vote what you like. <laughs> Archie, do you think mine's better? Let us know in the comments, Sam or Mitch. <laughs>track done and dusted in the budget builds uh no damage everyone got through pretty uh touch and go for a minute there it was either the skies were going to open up and we were going to end up having a time but uh the sun come back out and look honestly the crab track it's not that difficult guys but um it's just with the conditions if it rains you're in all sorts but 100 percent recommend you get up here and uh have a crack at it Technically, we're still on the Kreb truck, but the hard part is done and dusted now. We've just pulled up to Roaring Meg Falls. Everyone's celebrating at the moment, but we'll head over and uh, I'll run you through exactly what Roaring Meg Falls is. Kreb truck! Yoo-hoo! Kidja is the Aboriginal name for the land around the Roaring Meg Falls. Now, obviously, there's traditional owners of this land, so people have widened it out, guys. We'll try and scratch it off. Anyway, I think it's no pictures or video of Roaring Meg Falls. So, we're not going to be able to show you Roaring Meg Falls, but we're going to take the whole crew in for a look, which means you guys are going to get up here yourself and come and have a look. But, uh, obviously, respect the areas, guys. Make sure you take all your rubbish and bits and pieces with you, which you should do everywhere. But uh, these places, we want to remain open, so... Um, Shout out to, uh, to the uh, Aboriginal landowners for letting us come and check out their sacred spots. Yeehaw! Spectacular. It's beautiful. You have to go and see it. It's pretty, um, there's a lot of water in there, so it's flowing. But then there's also another beach. The beach is pretty good. Last time I was here, we were actually swimming at the top of Roaring Mag this time. Not a chance. You're literally straight over, brown bread. So be careful when you come here, but make sure you come check it out. It was rapids. You can swim. It's absolutely epic. So this is a great spot. You come spend a couple of hours, have lunch and uh, enjoy it, unreal. That was a waterfall? <laughs> yeah, no, I've just had to burn some calories so I've got to recover now, because it was very far. 1.2 kilometers of soul crushing Bear grills. walking. You got a little was, bit of wasn't that bad? That was piece of piss. <laughs> <laughs>
are we doing, sir? We are at Lion Stand Hotel. Yes. For lunch. Yes, sir. But are we gonna kick up? We'll see how many beers we have. <laughs> yeah, Let's go. It's hot. Why well, get the grinder out? That's not a repair. Don't tell the boys. Well, we're on. We've got a few kilometres to lay, so uh, we're trying to get up to the telly. We've got limited time up here, so next stop, Cohen. You ready? Cohen, baby. Seti. Let's go, Cohen. I think even with our tyres pumped up, it's pretty smooth. We've, we've put the new shocks in, we put superior engineering's in the rear, and that's made all the difference because that's where the weight is so for often. Yeah, Matty, we're not superior all around, so basically we're going past about 60, 70. We are sweet, we're gliding on the high. This like a floating lounge chair. We got superior front and rear. Uh, this thing is absolutely incredible. Oh, there she is. Fire out the right hand side. Fire out the right. right hand she side. is roaring. Sun's going down. Whoa. This is us. Camping on the sand in a creek away from everyone. Dude, we're on 40 PSI still. Yes, oh, <laughs> we're still pumped up, eh? Oh man. What a spot. This is sick. Yeah, this is cool as it's up there. Uh, let's get some timber. Let's get uh, the awnings out. Let's get some cans in the hand. Yeah. Let's enjoy let's it. Get it. Yeah. Alright, so we've been uh, cooking dinner and chilling out. We knew there was a fire in the distance, but uh, there's been a little bit of wind pick up. And we're sitting here and we literally hear this thing roar and you can just see it in the distance. Put the drone up and it's actually uh, climbing trees and moving at a rate of knots. So it's probably not the best idea to stay in this creek. If it does jump that creek bed next to us, then this is just all dead debris along the creek edge and we're literally, we'll, we'll, be, we'll, be, we'll be not ideal. That's a big fire. It was deliberately camped uh, where, you know, we've got a fire break. And there is a fire break here, but I think it'll literally die out right here. It's got nowhere to go. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll get everything packed up. We're just going to keep an eye on this. We do have a couple of hundred metres between us, like sand beds between us and where we camp. So if that wind changes. Not ideal. Alright, let's move just to be safe. Better to be safe than sorry. I don't know where we're gonna end up tonight, but it's not gonna be here. That's not 
the evening we thought we were going to have, but... It's um, been a lot of bushfires, eh? Yeah, it's a tough one. I mean, it's super hot, dry out here, the wind changes. It's the embers that can jump all these crossings and tracks. So, uh, yeah, let's punch it for a bit. There we go guys, that's a wrap on uh, episode one of the uh, season two budget build challenge. Now look, we are standing at the infamous old telegraph sign, uh, but you might notice there's only three cars in the background and one no, it's way there. off it's in there. the distance. It's there. If you want to find out what happened guys over the next three nights, uh, jump over to everyone else's channel. Tomorrow night is Sammy's channel. Yep. So we're doing, we're doing the on? tally track. The Delica had a little issue. It's not too major, but it means we are walking the track. It's That's going to be exciting. Issue. It is a big <laughs> issue. Don't worry about it. So we've got to start up a little further up the PDR, but we do make it here and we are doing the tally still. So get excited. Strap in. Tomorrow's episode. Tomorrow night. We are on. We're on. Let's go. Well, because we both speak on the UHF just as much as each other, we kind of needed a spot that was neutral for the UHF, it was easy to grab. And I was like, where's a good flat surface in this thing? Oh, we've got a head unit with a seven inch flat screen. That doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's fine, it doesn't work. You guys on channel? Look at that. He can grab it, I can grab it. That's and it hasn't fallen off yet, it's great. Let's go. This one's for you, Mac. You're behind me, are you? And pull me backwards when I fall off the track. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, there were some priorities when it come to packing up camp and moving because of the fire, and that was dinner. So we strapped our roast to the roof. And we weren't sure it was gonna make it, but it made it, so now we'll eat it, and it'll be we delicious. We made sure to put it on the hottest car, you know, so all those exhausts. Well, it had 10, it, it had like more. 10, 15 minutes worth of cooking time left still to go, so put it on the kettle. Now it's like well done and ready to go. Yeah. There's nothing I love more than just perfect organisation, you know, when everything's just got a home. It just works beautifully. Is this explore life? Chairs, they pack away so easily. These are the one camp chair for me. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Dance on this flight. <laughs> oh. If we, if you're smart, we're back. <laughs> this interior okay. light is like the sun. Don't worry about the interior light. We're running away from a fire. Oh, yeah. Well, we thought these covers were a good idea to start because they look really cool. But then we realised well, there's a hole for the valve. But I didn't think that far ahead. I'm not putting it up there. So now we're going to take them off every time we want to air down and air up. Let us know in the comments. Should this be points deduction? What's going on over here, girls? <laughs> Just get, getting ready for a shower. Yeah. Hey, you got the makeup mirror. Yeah, the it's so I can do my. A little bit of cheating or what? Care. Oh my god. The budget mirror, maybe. I don't this know. is off camera stuff normally. Let us know in the comments. Is that a point deduction? Uh 